Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man back in the studio taking a quick look at a preview from the Eldritch Omens for our new Shroud Runner jet bikes for the Eldari. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe for all kinds of reactions, reviews for Necromunda, Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team, Age of Sigmar, and Warcry as well. Do all kinds of painting, modeling, conversion, tutorials, magnetizations, and of course show off the commissions as they come out of the studio. But that being said, let's jump right in. Swift and sneaky, just what is a Shroud Runner anyway? So obviously they are coming soon in the Eldritch Omens box set for the Eldari vs. Chaos. Definitely looking forward to them. You've seen the amazing new Eldari vehicles from the Eldritch Omens box set, but what is a Shroud Runner and what can they do on the battlefield? Fortunately, there's a 32-page booklet in the box which explains everything that's going on, including a narrative campaign, who's involved, and rules for the elusive new vehicles. So here we see the Eldari models for the new Eldritch Omens box set. Uh, we have the Autark model with some various options and a new kit. Very nice. Three Shroud Runner jet bikes, which are essentially some mobile two-man sniper teams. And then we have the Arrangers here, long-awaited new models coming in the box set, and they look great and are, of course, the sniper scouts for the Eldar army. Shroud Runners are Raptor jet bikes ridden into battle by a pair of Eldari Rangers. While the pilot uses the machine's swiftness to easily outmaneuver enemies, the pillion rider enters a marksman's trance so that they can harass their foes with pinpoint sniper fire even while traveling at incredible speeds. So obviously it looks like they're going to not have any, not suffer any negatives for moving and shooting. Very nice looking models. I mean, these are fantastic. I'm just looking forward to overall the aesthetic of the line. I did not notice this before either, but it looks like they do have a scatter laser attached to the bike as, attached to the bike as well. So they're going to have snipers and the scatter lasers so these are fairly decent armament on the tabletop their cloaks will billow behind them as they speed towards their enemies this doesn't just look cool they are so well camouflaged that it actually provides protection from oncoming fire plus it does look really cool so the shroud runner cloak the bear can gain the benefits of light cover as if it was an infantry model each time a ranged attack is allocated to the bearer while it is receiving the benefits of cover add an additional one to any armor saving throws made against that attack so that's pretty cool. Definitely, uh, you know, gains the benefit of the infantry rule as far as cover. Thanks to their swift scouts rule, the Shroud Runners can also make a sneaky little pre-game move. Clearly, these scouts have earned their jet bike badge. Swift scouts at the start of your first battle round. Models in this unit can make a normal move. They cannot end this move within 9 inches of an enemy model. So they have a 9 inch scout move at the beginning of the game. A nice little ability to get them into position. This little gambit is perfect for redeploying if you've put them in the wrong place or perhaps even for tricking an opponent into thinking you're attacking one flank before zooming over to attack the other. So we don't know the actual uh, release date of this yet, but we know it is around the corner. Uh, I imagine this will come out slightly before the codex, but uh, definitely looking forward to these. These new models are absolutely great and would be a nice pinnacle to start any Eldar army. Uh, with some of those new guardians and some of the other awesome models we've seen previewed, the Eldar are definitely going to be something we see back on the battlefield. Uh, looking forward to all these new models. Uh, we've seen quite a few previews already, and uh, definitely looking forward to the ones that we have not seen yet to come, like the full reveal of the Avatar, uh, Shining Spears, Mog and Ra, and many other things that we don't even know about yet. So there you have it, guys. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. Make sure you like and subscribe for 40k. Kill Team, Age of Sigmar, and Warcry content, as well as some Necromunda, anything from reactions to reviews, customizations, commissions coming out of the studio, and anything in between. I'm Warhammer Man, this is Warhammer Man Studios, and I'm out of here.